Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. Um, this is uh, E-Type Jaguar again, but again, like I said before many times, um, you know, fabrication is fabrication. If there's some things you can do with this, I'm going to sh uh, uh, show you how to take the door skin off this, <clears throat> but some little techniques that will help. Uh, and it could attain to a Mini or a Morris Thousand or, or anything. Um, the techniques are still the same thing and uh, hopefully there'll be of some interest to you. Um, you might think, why, why am I doing the door skins now? Well, the problem is, is the, the, because of the, the journey that the car was on, and the floor and the, um, the, the, the box section has been in such a bad condition, the car has kind of twisted slightly, um, and, uh, and it's leaning back. So what I need to do now is I need to check with the doors that I've got the, I've got the, the uh, uh, rear bulkhead in the right position, the rear and the front bulkhead in, in the correct position. And this is the reason that I'm doing the doors now. <clears throat> the other reason is obviously I can't put the doors on, and the, the door skins on until the, the, uh, the actual frame of the door is, is sandblasted and painted. And uh, um, Amir is back on Friday, but it will start work Saturday morning. And that's the reason I'm, I'm opening them now. So I'm just going to open this up and show you a couple of techniques to do it. But before I do that, um, I got an email from a chap called Peter Warren. I've been in touch with him for quite some time now. He's doing a, a Jaguar XK140 fixed head coupe. And uh, he's just bought some panels for it. And he, he, made a, he mentioned to me that uh, maybe I should also mention, remember we were talking about not doing small little patches if possible because it weakens it. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you can't go for a larger panel. Uh, I mean, you know, it's horses for courses with, with repairs on, on, on uh, metal work. Um, you have to do what you have to do. As it turned out, Peter has actually um, cut a part off the XK150, it's the rear quarter panel. Um, he cut it off and then, he, and then he, he had the new one and when he put it on, he realised that there's a swage, swage line on, a, on, a, on XK120s and 140s down by the door. And I'll show you here. This is it now. So hopefully you can see that. I've come into the camera so you can see. It. And you can see there how this is not lining up. Anyway, it turned out that both the panels were the same. They were incorrect. He bought them from a company. Uh, I haven't seen, I've seen the picture obviously. So I'm not going to mention the company's name at the moment. Um, but I get most of my parts from Martin Robe, and obviously the, <coughs> this wasn't from them. <coughs> and I've been very impressed with the quality of the panels. So, you know, it's up to you. If you go somewhere and you get them cheaper or more expensive or whatever, uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the thing that you take, it's the, uh, you know, chance that you take. So, what he's ended up doing is actually uh, taking the old panel and, and rebuilding it. He, he, the majority of it was quite good. And, uh, but he thought because of corrosion he would take it out, but he's had to actually repair the one he had originally. So, you know, you have to look at these things and say, can I get the right panel? Is it going to fit correctly? Obviously, try and get the panels before you cut anything out, because if you don't do that, then, then you're kind of stuck with it. You've already cut out. So try not to cut too much out before you, you have the panels. You can look at them and see exactly what's going on. So um, just two quick shout-outs. One of... Um, Josh Smith, his, his uh, uh, subscription rate's gone right up now, which is very nice. I think he's up to 170, which is good. Um, but there's two others. Uh, I won't, uh, uh, I'll only talk about the two that are actually need some more people to lock in. Uh, one is George Knapp. Um, he's doing a mini, and he's actually starting to build the wings up, the inner wings, but he's putting um, repair panels in, and this would be worth watching. Uh, because not everybody can go to the extent of putting in complete new uh, inner wing. So it's George Knapp, and the other one is Mad Mini Vlogger, uh, M A Double D, um, and he he's doing bits and pieces on his mini as well, and it's worth watching it. All of them have got something to cont contribute, so it's good. Anyway, without further ado, I'll I'll um, start taking this on. And I'll show you. It's going to get a bit noisy, but I'm afraid that's the way it's going to have to be. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh. It's not knocked the camera over. Put the camera up properly. There we go. Sorry about that. So, get my gloves on. I've got my uh, safety glasses on. Or my glasses on, but a safety. So, it'll get a bit noisy, but I'll just show you what I want to do. So, the best way to do this is just take the edge off here. 
but not go right through. <clears throat> if, if you can see the actual split in it, you've gone too far and you could actually damage the frame. So what you want to do is, is, is open it a little bit at a time. You can do that with almost heat and just a bit of, so I'll show you. see if I pull on this now sorry the camera might be might be in the way of the camera but see how I can do it. you want to do it while there's still while there's still a bit of heat in it and then all you, it's a bit hard to do it that way then. so I can pull up the you can see there okay put a bit more in it don't go too far with it up on the side of it. See it's a bit tight there. So I'll give it a bit more. Try where possible to, to get onto it straight away so you can open it. You can see how that's because of the heat that's in it, plus I've cut it slightly. You can see. So now you can open this up. And then what I'll do is I'll pick the camera up and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So, so there you go. So you can see now that this is the bit that's bent. You can see it's almost through but not quite. And I'll bring the camera and show you that and there's obviously the inside of it. And I haven't touched the inside. If you cut, some people I've seen doing these uh, videos are saying, just keep going until you can see the layers. If you do that, you're actually going to cut the edge. And then when you go to fold it, it's going to be wrong. If you've got a slight dip in there, whatever, that's going to transpose onto this, uh, onto this uh, door skin. So keep this edge as clean as you possibly can. What there is with the E-types is there's, uh, I'll show you on the other door, there's actually spot welds in four places. But I'll show you that now. But you can see that that is almost broken. If I if I open that a little bit, you can, you can see it's almost through. And that's all you need is a bit of heat. Take some off it, of course, and then open the way you go, you can open it. So, I'll put that to one side for a second. And I'll show you, this is the original door. This is the door skin from the other door. And you can actually see what I'm talking about there. You can see how bad it is. It's so badly rusted. But you can see there exactly what I'm talking about. You can see it's almost... There you go. Well, if it's not right through, it's almost there. But you don't want to be cutting too deep. You can see, there you go. But I haven't cut into the into the main frame, and that's the most important. But you can see that skin has absolutely had it. So, like in all good cookery programs, this is one I did earlier. The skin is not on, obviously. But you can see. You can see from there, I haven't actually touched any of the... Let me just make sure this camera's still working. Yes, it is. Uh, you can see there, I haven't touched it, but now that needs sandblasting. And you can see none of these areas are damaged whatsoever. So I can easily fit that back in. So, I'm going to pick up the camera and I'll show you... Ah, that's it. I'm going to have to do part two, I'm afraid. Sorry, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll do part two in a minute. Thanks.